Section 1. You will hear a conversation between a customer service representative and a customer who demands a full refund. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 4. You will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Hello and welcome to Under Pressure Enterprises Customer Service Department. This is Kelly. How may I help you? Yes, I'm calling about one of your rice cookers I just purchased. The customer says that he is calling about one of the rice cookers he just purchased. So, rice cooker has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 4. Hello and welcome to Under Pressure Enterprises Customer Service Department. This is Kelly. How may I help you? Yes, I'm calling about one of your rice cookers I just purchased. What seems to be the problem, sir? Seems? There's no seeming about it. The blasted thing shoots hot steam all over the place, that's what. It nearly scalded my hand when I went to open it. Why, it could have killed the cat or something. It could have exploded and killed my wife and me. Sir, sir, please calm down. As long as the steam escapes the cooker, it won't explode. So you're telling me there's no problem? Are you calling me a liar? Sir, no one is calling you a liar. Yes, so I demand a full refund. Under pressure, we'll be happy to refund your money, sir. Now, I just need some basic information. Okay, okay. Sorry, I do tend to get a little hot under the collar. My wife tells me to slow down. So, what do you need to know? Sir, don't worry. I just need to ask you the model number of the cooker. Hmm. Where are my glasses? Ah, here. Let's see. Ah, it's R242. R242. Okay. And how much did you pay for the product? £89.99. It was on sale. I guess I should tell you. Thank you. That's honest of you. Now, where did you buy the cooker? Which store and which branch? At that big electric life appliance store downtown. The city centre branch? That's the one. And you say the problem is that the steam escapes? Yes, it does. No problem, sir. If there's steam escaping, clearly the cooker is broken or defective. So we have an R242 cooker with an escaping steam problem. It was bought from Electric Life City Centre Branch for eighty nine ninety nine. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Oh, I nearly forgot. When did you buy the cooker? Just as soon as my wife got the crazy idea, she'll live longer if she stops eating good English food, roast beef and mash. No, all she says she wants is rice and vegetables and sauces you'd not soak your feet in.